There's something empowering about facing something really tough and say, you can't beat me. I've got this and I'm not gonna go down without a fight. I'm gonna do everything in my power to make sure that I win this storm. Hello there, everybody. It's Dr. Glenn Krieger here with another episode of your Five Minute Friday. And I wanna talk about storms. Now, what does that really mean? Well, we're gonna go through storms in our lives and we always know, and I've said this many times before, that things are never as good as the best day you've ever had and they're never as bad as the worst day you've had. It will always sort of go between good and bad, up and down, positive and negative. But it's easy, especially early on in your career, to think that your terrible day, that day where a patient complained, nobody accepted care, you know, a team member left, like, oh my God, why am I doing this? And then you have those great days where everybody starts treatment, all the cases are going beautifully, your team is humming along, you just have that new team member who's really integrating well, and you have everything in between. So again, when things are really good, don't get sort of mollified by the idea that all of a sudden it's gonna stay there and be wonderful. And when things are going really badly, don't get down and depressed and like, why did I choose this profession? It's always gonna go in between, and I wanna leave you with a little thought. I want you to envision yourself in a hurricane or a storm. And you know, there's a couple of ways when a storm comes at you and, and, and don't kid yourself, we're in a storm. Inflationary concerns, staffing issues, uh, potential oncoming recession, we're in a storm and life is not gonna be easy. It's gonna be tough and it's only gonna get tougher for a while. And that's okay because I like to believe there's two types of folks out there. They're the ones who see the storm coming and they board up their windows and they close their doors, or they move out of town, and um, I'm not talking about safety issues now, let's just talk about people. And they figure, I'm just gonna hunker down and pray I make it through the storm and everything's gonna be okay, and I hope I get through. And when they come out, they're all tentative when it's over. I wonder if it, everything's okay. And then there's the other person. Now, I'm not talking about being irresponsible, but they embrace the storm. It's coming, I know it's coming, I've gotta do what I've gotta do, and you stand and you face it. And I don't mean a literal storm, okay? If you got two by fours going by at 150 miles an hour, uh, you probably wanna seek <laughs> shelter. But the two ways you can embrace a storm are either hide from it or embrace it, jump into it, help those around you survive that storm. And for me, it's always been the latter. Okay, everybody, I wanna set the scene for you. You're in a room with a thousand people who think just like you, the lights are dim, something special is about to happen on stage and the music starts turning up. Before you know it, you're part of a meeting that's gonna change your life. The Orthopreneur Summit, which is now in its fifth year, has been called the best meeting in orthodontics. I've had non-orthodontists come to it as guests and tell me it's the best meeting they've ever been to. If you are not signed up for that meeting, the FOMO you're gonna miss out on is gonna be ridiculous, but even moreover, the great material to help your practice go to the next level, the great conversations you're gonna have, with other people who are gonna be in attendance is gonna be incredible. So go to opsummit2022.com, sign up now. I promise you this will be the best meeting you've ever been to, opsummit2022.com. And as I tell everybody all the time, if this is not the best meeting you've ever been to, you just walk up to me at Summit, let me know, I will pay for your limousine to the airport and a flight home. Nobody's ever taken me up on it because it's the best meeting in orthodontics. OPSummit2022.com. Can't wait to see you there. Wishing you the best. There's something empowering about facing something really tough and say, you can't beat me. I've got this and I'm not gonna go down without a fight. I'm gonna do everything in my power to make sure that I win this storm, right? And you know that old saying, I even used it in the Mission Impossible uh, opening last year at Summit, but you know, the, the fate whispers to the warrior, a storm is coming. And the warrior whispers back, I am the storm. I get goosebumps whenever I hear that because it, it's such a great way of thinking about life. Don't let things push you around. Don't think things are terrible. Don't think things are amazing. Fight the storms every day. Help those around you fight the storm. Stand there with your feet planted in the ground and the wind going by and realize that you can win this. You can beat this storm and best of all, you can take everybody with you on that ride so everybody succeeds. And that's my vision for orthopreneurs. I'm gonna be out there, feet planted firmly on the ground, fighting this thing the whole way through, and I'm there to help you come with me. And I just hope you do this for others because you know what? 
Hiding in the room and closing the doors and hope I weather it is not the way I face the world. I respect it if that's the way you do it. But for me, I need to be out there solving problems, making it through, grabbing that storm, rolling it up, putting it in a bag and moving on. And uh, I hope that this inspires you a little bit to realize we can do this. And I've been through these kinds of storms at least, oh, I don't know, three to five times in my career in 30 years. And it will pass and we will be stronger as a result. So again, your best day, it's never going to be that good forever. Your worst day, it's never going to be that way forever. It's going to be something in between. And how you deal with it and how you face that storm is going to tell you how you're going to feel when this is all over. All right? I hope this helps you. I'm wishing you a wonderful day. And just know that I'm always there for you no matter what you need. And if you're coming to Summit, I can't wait to see you. If you're not coming to Summit, that is arguably one of the best ways to put your feet in that ground, root yourself down there, and be around like-minded people to help you weather any storm that comes your way. OPSummit2022.com. I hope to see you there.